Hey guys, Dr. Novelli here at the Novelli Wellness Center located in Orchard Park, New York. We serve the Buffalo area. We serve Elma, we serve East Aurora, we serve Clarence. We even have folks coming down from Niagara Falls and Rochester. We have people occasionally from Syracuse, Batavia, even people from Bradford, Pennsylvania, Toronto. And so we're kind of like a destination where people can come in and have spinal decompression. And one of the questions that people ask and what today's video is all about is, how long does spinal decompression last? Let's say you're somebody who has back pain and we examine you, we do an MRI and we find out, hey, there's a herniated disc inside the spine and you want decompression. However, you also wanna know, hey, is it gonna work? How long does it last? And what else do I need to know? So one of the things we do here is we make these videos to educate people about that. And today's video is all about how long spinal decompression treatment results last. And I think what people mostly are asking is, I get out of pain, I feel better, how long does that last before the pain's gonna come back? And my answer is, if you do everything correctly and you got out of pain, you're doing well, and you come back every so often, which is what our recommendation is, the pain should not return. In our spinal decompression programs, we give our patients 10 complimentary maintenance visits where after your visit, your program is initially completed and you're feeling a lot better, you'll come in every so often. That might be every month or every two months or maybe even every three months. Because what we've found is for folks who have a herniated disc, who have sciatica, who have a neck herniated disc in the neck, you wanna come in for a tune-up once in a while because you might be going back to doing the same activities that brought you back here in the first place, right? If you're a construction worker and you herniate your disc and then you go back to doing construction, you're likely to have that problem come back. So you wanna get ahead of it, right? You wanna do things proactively, not reactively. So that's what we're here for is to put programs together for people that actually are proactive. So once you get the result that you're looking for, your pain is much better, your movements are back to normal, that herniated disc has come back inside the disc where it's supposed to be, it stays there. So what we show people is that the spinal decompression treatments that we're doing here are shown to be long-term. This is a research study out of the Anesthesiology News by Dr. Odell. What this showed was that people who do spinal decompression even four years later, right there, even four years later, still have tremendous improvement from the treatment. The pain is so much better, even four years later. So how long does it last? Well, we have a research study that shows at least four years. And depending on what you do for a living, depending on how hard you know you, you go on your body, how aggressive you are, that might change, right? You wanna make sure that you're careful, you wanna do exercises every day, you wanna do stretches, you wanna understand your diagnosis, you wanna understand your spine, and that's a big part of what we do is educating people about the spine, the nerves. So for example, in your lower back, you have five bones. You, all, you have five nerves on this side, you have five nerves on that side. Four of the nerves in your lower back on this side and four on this side, they become your sciatic nerves. So you actually have eight sciatic nerves if you really think about it. So there's a lot of nerves in there, a lot of things that can go wrong. My job as a chiropractor is to find out, okay, where's the problem? Maybe it's between your fourth and your fifth bone. Which nerve is getting pinched? Maybe it's your fourth nerve. And how bad is it? Is it maybe there's nerve damage? Maybe there's a ruptured disc pinching on a nerve, right? And it's causing sciatica down your leg. Maybe it's going all the way down to your foot. And what we do with spinal decompression is we pull that herniated disc back inside because the disc, you can see the red disc right here, that red disc hits on the yellow nerve, right? Or maybe you have degeneration where your bones, instead of being separated, they get compressed like that, right? See the yellow nerve is getting pinched now? And what I do is I identify on the x-rays or on the MRI which one of these bones is hitting in on which one of the nerves, and then we'll decompress your spine using spinal decompression to unpinch the nerves. So that's what we do and that's what we specialize in. And then we recommend stretches and exercises, guys, to keep the spine strong, to keep the spine opened up. And then you come in every so often for a maintenance visit. And that way we can keep you, make sure the decompression results last, hopefully a lifetime, that's the goal. However, we have people who are rough on themselves and they're doing things that aren't necessarily good. So we wanna make sure that we educate you about that on our first visit. 
we have a program we designed to support the spinal decompression program. It's called the at home care program, all the things to do at home to help yourself. So when you come in for, for your session, we'll actually show you what that is. I'll pull up on the computer right here and we'll say, okay, here's the program. I'll send, actually send you guys a text message on that program. And here's what the program looks like. It's a series of things to do at home, also things not to do. And hopefully this comes through on the computer, but basically it'll look like this. It'll say at home care. And at the bottom are all these different links. And it'll be like things, avoid these activities, right? Stretches, exercises, strengthening, how to bend, lift and twist properly. Use good posture, different supplements that you should take. Back brace, supportive bed, sleeping recommendations, foot orthotics, heel lifts, massage therapy will teach your spouse how to actually massage your back. So feel free to bring your spouse to a visit so they can learn about this as well. So that's what we're here for, guys, is to be able to provide education. Today's video was all about how long does spinal decompression last? But if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to call the office. 716-45-SPINE is our phone number. And if you click below, there's a link to book your free spinal decompression treatment right now where you can come in, meet with me. I'll do an x-ray review, an MRI review, and we'll get to the bottom of what's causing your issues. And I'll look forward to that. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm Dr. Novelli out in Orchard Park, New York at the Novelli Wellness Center, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.